Hey guys, Civicsport here, and welcome back to the final video of this build. Uh, I know it's a uh, pretty long overdue, but anyways, let me go ahead and show you what we got running over here before uh, I go any further. <clears throat> As you can see, we have three GTX 260s running in three-way SLI. We have the Corsair HX 1000 watt power supply. We have the Corsair H50 CPU cooler with two Noctua fans, 120 millimeter Noctua fans, running in push pull to uh, cool down the the processor. And speaking of the processor, we have underneath the H50 the Intel Q6600. And originally, I know you can't really see it because I got this Dominator fan here. And sorry about the lighting, guys. I'm not in my uh, workshop right now. But but originally, I was going to use the Corsair Dominator. Uh, memory, the DDR2-1066, um, but I decided to go ahead and use just the Mushkin memory, the DDR2-800, <clears throat> which originally Extreme Grandpa sent with the board. The reason being was because there was something wrong with one of the memory modules, and that's probably the, one of the reasons why it was just laying around, because one of the memory modules were we're not working so we have four gigabytes gigabytes yeah can't speak four gigabytes uh, four sticks at one gigabyte each of Mushkin enhanced memory and there's the Corsair Dominator fan that's going to be cooling it down and then we're using a mid tower computer case made by NZXT it's the Tempest Evo <clears throat> and we have a 500 gigabyte Western Digital hard drive right there. And right here, this is just a 12 inch uh, cold cathode, white, uh, a white cold cathode. All right guys, so let's go ahead and hook this all up. Uh, my goal is to overclock the processor to 3.6 gigahertz. And once I get the overclocking done, I'll go ahead and run some benchmarks and show you guys. All right guys. Alright guys, so this is the overclock. We've been running uh, Prime 95. We started it at 10.47 this morning. And it is now... Let me go down here and show you the time. It is 3.45 p.m. So Prime 95 has been running for about a little less than four hours. And everything is pretty stable. All the cores are running pretty stable. Past 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 so let me go ahead and show you the overclock we have it at now I wanted to hit 3.6 gigahertz and I have and this is the core speed 3.6 a 9 times multiplier 400 bus speed and 1600 front side bus and again we're running a Q6600 and that's the core voltage right there, 1.464. <clears throat> and the temperatures are pretty pretty good, 71 degrees uh, max. Right now we're running 65 degrees C. There's graphics card 1 running at 50 degrees, graphics card 2, 50, and graphics card 3, 52 degrees. And I can probably mess around with this uh, core voltage a little bit. Maybe I can drop it down to an even 1.4 volts. Um, and maybe I might get uh, some cooler temperatures on the CPU. But it seems like anything less than 2.4 um, core number 2 actually stops working immediately. So 1.4, I'm going to keep it there, 1.46. Uh, volts just to keep everything stable and the temps aren't really that high anyways so all right guys so that's the overclock we've reached our goal uh, unfortunately I can't get anything uh, more than 3.6 I try to bump it up to 3.8 
with a 1.5 volts and it's unstable so uh, uh, 3.6 is actually pretty good alright guys there you go stay tuned for the uh, benchmarking videos benchmarking videos